Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Impulse SV patron server. For those of you who don't know, I have a patron server, I have a patron campaign, and one of the rewards on the campaign is access to a private, whitelist only, server. It's vanilla, it's obviously multiplayer, there's a lot of patrons on here doing stuff and things, and today I wanted to show off some of the really cool builds so you guys can get an idea of what exactly is taking place here on the server. So I'm going to do a short little mini series here showing off a few of the different builds uh, that some of the patrons have done. They've submitted to me uh, you know, to show off some of their stuff. They said that's cool. And uh, I'm going to start here with a patron by the name of Magpie. And he he has built a volleyball game. So one thing to note about my patron server here is we pretty much stick pretty close to all the stuff that you can see on Hermitcraft. So the data packs, the armor stand stuff, all that is pretty much available here on the server. We have an excellent moderator crew who makes sure that the server is always fun, fair, and you know keeps griefing and all that to a minimum. So it's a lot of fun here. Everybody is really, really cool. I've I've uh, become to, to know a lot of my patrons that play here really well. And I got to say, they're just a bunch of cool peeps. But Magpie here has done a volleyball game. And what we have is they are the beach bunnies on the left. And the reigning champs, the El Dorado Drowned. So yeah, they're playing. They're playing volleyball with a. Uh, um, what's that called? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Whatever that's called, I forget things. I almost called it a Nautilus shell. Phantom membrane. Yeah. Maybe? I don't know. I always get confused. Anyway, this is really cool. We got a dude on like a beach towel here just hanging out, reading a book. Uh, not really interested in the game, apparently. I uh, got another one. This one's actually interested in the game. Maybe this is why the Drown are the rating champs, because they actually have fans that watch them. But this whole deal is just an advertisement, basically, for Magpie's business that he has. I'm sure uh, there's a shopping district. You probably saw, actually, in the flyby in the intro, there's a shopping district, and I'm sure that's where his armor stand business shop is probably located uh, but he does have a business to to do the armor stand stuff which is awesome it's called a uh, simulacra sim sim simulacra i can't pronounce things <laughs> i looked it up simulacra there we go. That's how you pronounce it. Oh, I'm an idiot sometimes. Anyway, this isn't the only thing Magpie has done here on the server. Obviously, he's done more than that. So we're going to head over to another build that he's done. All right, and we find ourselves here at another build of Magpie's. It's actually inside his base, which is way up there. We are currently in his Hall of Honor, and this is dedicated for those that inspired him in his Minecraft game. And you can see there's scenes set up all around he's got a few reserve ready to be built as well so I want to take a look at this because this is really cool he's got some great stories of why you know he picked the people he did and what inspired them unfortunately I won't have time to go through all the books today uh, because we want to keep this video semi brief if possible but really cool stuff in here and of course I have to start with myself because yeah, because I need to feed my ego and stuff. Look at this. Yeah, <laughs> we have a really cool, it's of course a map, right, that they made. This must have taken a long time. Because if you think about it, they had to go out and they had to place all these blocks in order to make the map, to make the graphic, and <laughs> naked and scared, of course. Always, always cool. This art, of course, was by Zloy XP, which we will get to see in a second. He is just right over there. So that's pretty cool, too. But let's take a look at this book here and see what it says. It says, there are a number of Minecraft content creators today, and many are exceptional at what they do. However, most of them, most of the more popular ones, are, are acting a role, wearing a persona. The thing that brought me to Impulse's videos and Patreon was the feeling of sincerity, the upbeat, simple joy of the game without adding a layer of acting on top to cloud the videos. Also, the focus on friendship, Tango, Skiz, his mods, the fact that spending time with the people he values is a primary focus. 
And that value of friends is reflected here on the server by the people it has attracted at low drama, high entertainment, and a pretty darn fun group of people. Wow. Thank you so much, Magpie. That is pretty cool, man. That is really nice of you to say. And I 100% agree. The people on the server, the mods, everybody here is amazing. They are an amazing group of people. So look inside. He's kind of decorated it with things that I've done in the past that was inspiring, I guess, and, and he's probably used as well. The silos, the you know, obviously the carrot potato farms I I do quite often, and of course the item sorter that is, I think, the most popular video on my channel. May have over a million views now, I think. Oh, look, we've even got the floor that I've used uh, twice now in Hermitcraft, and the cave spider cage here because I like to tame the cave spiders. That is really cool. A lot of detail in here. Oh, man, and gold, of course, yeah, because I like harvesting gold. We got Monkey Farm over here. Looks like he's still looking to uh, de decorate his little scene. Zombie Cleo, of course, I kind of expected this after seeing all the armor stand work that Magpie has done. So obviously some inspiration there from Cleo. That is pretty cool. Um, is there a name on this book? I don't see anybody in here. Let's take a look real quick. CNB Minecraft. Okay, yeah, old school. Old school redstone visionary, pioneer, you may say. All right, this is cool. <laughs> There's his uh, channel if you want to pause it real quick and look it up. CMB, I haven't heard that name in forever. That is cool. Nice to uh, give a little shout out to some old school Minecraft Redstoners. And here he is, Loy XP. Let's go ahead and read his book because he deserves it. Like I said, he uh, of course does the recap, but he's also done a lot of the thumbnail art for Naked and Scared. And he's just such a cool dude. So let's see what Magpie has to say about him. It says... Too many only know this Russian genius for his work on the Hermitcraft recap, but his work far exceeds that. His series worthy of note include his MHC challenges with the Pigglesworth and Dadcraft. Oh, I know Dadcraft. Uh, met him in real life. Hung out in the little hermit house at, uh, at uh, Minecon one year in Anaheim. That was, that was fun. Decidedly Vanilla, The Division, and several others. His gift for pranks, sense of humor, and most of all, surprisingly mature sense of sarcasm led me to fall back in love with the game at a low point. All hail the Chicken King. I'm not sure what the Chicken King thing is about, because I unfortunately haven't had time to watch Zoli's videos, but <laughs> obviously he's got something going on where he's the king of chickens. That is that's pretty cool. All right, who else we got? We got the Pigglesworth, his partner in crime, right on. And I think we got a few scenes to be done later. We got a few names on here. This one's open. We'll cruise down here and see who we got. BJW, yeah, I've heard his name before as well. I like how he's juggling the uh, the rails there. That's pretty cool. Uh, what else we got? Joel Dugan, okay. And that one's open. And we got Aaliyah. She is a mod and member of this server as well, of course. And known for interior decorating by the looks of it. <laughs> pretty awesome. All right. Open, reserved. Got a few scenes to do yet, and uh, I like that he's got room for more as well. So as inspiration comes, continue to add here. Moonlit Coyote, another member of the server, and you can see, obviously, champion of, uh, you know, spawn proofing the nether, <laughs> apparently. Oh my goodness, a lot of work there digging out nether, I know that. Osiris here, looks like uh, king of, of farms in the nether. Wither skeleton there, blaze there, I'm assuming tackles the, uh, the farms quite often. So yeah, this is a really cool room. Place to just come chill, reflect. I like that a lot. Just get kick back and relax here. Now, we go through here, and this is actually going to lead us up to his base. So let me show you around his base just a bit. All right, so we're kind of in the main lobby, I would say, of his base, it's where his ender portal you know, entrance is. And right away, there's something that is, I find really, really cool. More with the armor stands. He's got a dude with a guitar. And he's got, of course, my personal favorite, a drummer. If you guys know me, you know I have a history with drumming, and this is super cool. I love how he did the hi-hat. He's got all the toms, he's got the bass drum, got the, uh, the crash cymbal, the ride cymbal, all that going on, he's holding the sticks. This is really, really cool. <laughs> of course I love that. Uh, looks like he's got a bit of storage in here as well, and we can kind of cut through here. He's got some maps on the wall, got some more armor stand guys. I think there's more up here. Let's head over here. We can split off either direction, I suppose. Yeah, it looks like uh, we can go over there. Another naked and scared. There's our actual logo. Well done. Again, 
if you guys know how these are made, you know how tedious something like this could be. I'm super impressed that they've gone to the trouble to do that. But we've got a nice sitting area with the fire going, some custom mob heads going on there as well. And it looks like this is outside, so we can get a view of what his kind of terrain is like out here. He's surrounded by llamas up here in, uh, what are we in, probably extreme hills or something? Uh, mountains, okay. So, yeah, he's kind of built into a mountain. That's cool. I like that. Uh, let's head through this door, see what's in here. We got another room, a lot of mob heads. Oh, my goodness. Got all, I bet he's got every single mob head in here. This is crazy. And what have we got over here? Got some cakes. Convex would uh, appreciate that, or Cub fan at least. And we got a dinner table set up. Okay, so this is what this other one kind of leads to. And then it looks like it goes upstairs as well. Let's take a look up here. Oh, got the bedroom over here, a little like loft area that, that over looks the the living room that's pretty cool i actually would uh i would like a house like this <laughs> you know that'd be awesome and let's see anything else there's just stuff tucked in every little corner if we stop and just stare for a moment you'll notice just all the little things that he's got going on here and let's head down here i wanted to go back to the the little lobby area because there was another way that we could go and this is pretty cool goes underground and then there's different ways to we can go from here. So we have a path off to Skelly and Zombie Spawners way down there. Um, I'm assuming this probably goes to like a branch mine or something. There's no there's no sign here, but this definitely caught my interest. Farms, yeah, let's go this way. Uh, it looks like we can break off here. There's some farms in here. Nether wart, of course, and we've got what is what's in here. Oh, looks like he's got a bit of a hidden pumpkin melon farm. And we got sugarcane, of course. Got Always got to have that as well. And let's see. Down, we can go either way here. Mushroom farm in there. So probably, I mean, do you have to keep, you have to keep it pretty dark in here, don't you, for mushrooms to grow? What else we got? Certificate research and trading facility. Ooh, I want to check this out, actually. I have not pre-scoped this area. Look at this hallway. This looks very scientific-y. Scientific-y? Scientific. That's a better word. <laughs> Let's head down here and see what he's got going. Oh, wow. This is cool. Big room for, there's his villagers. I know the pain in going through and sorting villagers. So this is impressive. So it looks like he's got the breeder and he will uh, lead them up into carts and then he can check them out and transport them where he needs to go. Got them all marked, so he's got some good ones, Silk Touch and things like that. And to Happy Villager Island, looks like he sends them off. So kind of a lot like I do in, in Hermitcraft. There's his mending guy, I'm gonna not get too close to him, keep him safe, but yeah, he's got a few villagers, quite a few in here, so that is, that is cool. His research facility. All right, back to the hallway of farms here. We got some, I guess, probably kelp farm? I see a bunch of kelp down there. I'm not sure if it's just for looks or if it's actual farm, but yeah, it looks like I, I would assume. Yeah, <laughs> I'm right, it's a kelp farm. And what is this, maintenance access? Cool, oh, I should probably keep the door closed and stuff. And we'll continue on to, this is probably another maintenance area. Yeah, sounds like he's got a chicken farm. Oh, yep, there they are. Very nice, very nice. And is there one more farm? This is just random stuff, I think. So then it looks like it leads us to the outside. Is this like phantom defense or something? <laughs> Maybe hang out right here and you can get the phantoms coming in and, and kill them that way. That's cool. And I got looks like we got some manual farms out here. Got the pigs roaming around. Got some cows and, and more llamas. Got some skelly horses. I'm not gonna get close in case they're like the active ones. And we got a little bunny farm as well. And yeah, of course, all that good stuff. This is kind of hidden, looks like in the back of his base. Oh, and we've even got some decorated llamas in here. That is pretty cool. So a lot going on here at Magpie's base. I do love, absolutely love the kind of build in the mountain style, as you guys can probably guess, since I kind of did the same thing on Hermitcraft season six, currently doing the mountain style base. And this is actually giving me a lot of inspiration because this was kind of the style I was, I was going for when I started the season and honestly haven't done enough on Hermitcraft just yet because there's always just so much to do and this is where you get to that hall of inspirations that we saw before so it kind of ties everything together on how you get around this place really really cool magpie thank you so much for inviting me by your base I apologize if I miss things like I said I wanted to keep 
the the tours as short as possible so people could just really get a good sense of what's going on here on the server and of course if they want to come and check it out themselves feel free to check out my patreon campaign at patreon.com slash impulse sv there'll be of course links in the description on screen all that kind of stuff feel free to check it out there's different rewards that you guys can sign up for which is pretty awesome it's what i love about patreon and uh it becomes a whole community you guys will you know discover that patreon is a community and and we uh, have a great bunch of people, like we've said a few times. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little tour uh, around. going to be doing a few more of these. I'm not sure how often, but uh, here and there you'll see some more pop up from other members of the Patreon server here. So like I said, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe before you go. And with that said, I'll see you guys again next time. Have a good one, everyone.